In this video, I'll show you how you can drastically speed up your workflow by managing templates in Camtasia. Let's get into it. So let's say you've created a project in Camtasia and you want to be able to reuse this project or a good portion of it. So for example, I've got a project open here now. It's the most recent video I made for my channel. Uh, and there's a lot of elements in it that I would want to reuse in future projects, in, my, in future videos. Um, so for example, I may want to reuse the intro or the ending or the way I've got logos set up and, uh, and any number of things, any, any call outs or images or video files that you want to keep and reuse in future projects, you can use templates to save the majority of that, which will really speed up your workflow when starting your next project. So let me walk you through how to save most of this as a template so that I can reuse it later. So first, let me just show you what I've got in here. So this is the project. Uh, you can see the entire timeline. Let's just zoom in a little bit on the intro part at the beginning. So in the beginning, I have, I'm just gonna drag the playhead across here just so you can see the elements that we have. So this part here is, the, is an intro uh, with a graphic. You can see it's a group here. We can expand the group if you wanna see what's inside it. I've got uh, a logo, a background image, uh, another image of a cormorant, um, and some audio uh, and some text. Okay, and I've got that all set up and I reuse that with all my videos. So that would be an element that I'd wanna save and reuse. I wanna save that as part of the template. Now, if we back up here, most of this is unique to just this video and I will not want that in other videos. I'm gonna re-record this section, the intro piece. However, since I wanna know things like this music track here, I've got the music track uh, and I've got a marker installed here uh, where it shows where the bass comes in in the music. I want that to occur as this intro ends, okay? Right before this graphic plays. So this music track is also something I'd wanna keep. And I also wanna know where this intro ends with respect to this music starting. So I'm actually gonna keep all of this. I don't necessarily have to keep like this, uh, this pop sound and the logo and, and things like that. So why don't I go ahead and I'm just gonna delete these sections here because this all has to do with the logo and I kind of did a, an effect where the logo flew behind me so I have another copy of me here uh, without the background. So let's delete that. Let's delete the logo. Let's delete all these things here. Okay, so we just keep you know, this video and the audio portion of the intro. This I definitely wanna reuse in all videos and as with this, I wanna use that in all videos as well. So we'll keep those for the template. Now let's just zoom out. And now let's quickly go and take a look at the ending of this and we'll zoom in to the end. Okay, and as with the beginning, there's a lot of elements here that I wanna keep for all of my videos. Um, so there's this subscribe uh, pop up here. Uh, there's a group, all of this, all of this graphics here and, and um, my, the way I slide over to the side here. I want to basically keep all of this intact. All this is what I call the outro, which basically starts right here. Okay, so I want to keep all this and then the graphics at the end. I want to keep that and the, the music down here. So, but this part here, I do not need to keep and all of this I don't need to keep. Okay, so I'm gonna keep all of this part in my template, and then when I start a new project by opening the template, I will replace, you know, this, this, and this, and this. Whoops, delete the marker. I'll replace those with the new recordings for the new video. Okay, so let's just back out again and we'll continue, I'm gonna continue deleting all of this. All of this is the body of this video, which is not gonna be in any future videos. So I'm just gonna highlight those and delete them. And now let's zoom in here to the beginning again. So the actual video starts here. So these three I'm gonna delete as well, okay? That should be it. I've now got everything that I wanna keep in my template. Uh, the only thing is I don't necessarily need to keep this much space. Well, I can, I can keep, 
I could all I could always highlight all this and drag it over here, but then I'll just have to drag it back. See, every video is going to be a different length. Some videos may be three or four minutes. Some videos may be 30 minutes. So as I've got this right now, I've got it at about 14 minutes. That's how long the, this past this past video was. Uh, so yeah, I can save it like that. And then when I open up a new project later, I can always highlight this and move it if I have to, or I will have to either shorten it or lengthen it. Okay, so I've got all the elements that I want to keep in my template. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, save this. Let's just go ahead and save this file. What's also going to be saved in the template is the project setup. So for example, we see the background here is black. Uh, that's fine. I, I cover that up anyways. But if we go into project settings here, uh, we can see I've got this set as a 4K video. So these settings are going to be maintained in the, in the template, 3840 by 2160, and the frame rate of 30 frames per second. Okay, All of that is going to be saved as well. So this is what I want to save as my template. All you have to do is you go up to File at the top here, and then you go down to Save Project as Template. Click on that, and this window will pop up. And let's give this a name. I'm just going to call it for now Test template and click OK. That's it. It's saved. Now, where is it saved, you might ask? Well, the next thing I want to show you is how to manage your templates. Now, what you do to do that is you go up here to Camtasia and then you look for Manage Templates right here. Let's click on that. And then that brings up the Template Manager window. So, as you can see, this is a template that I use regularly to start my videos. And if we come over here, this is the one that I just saved, okay? Test template. Now, there's a couple things we can do. There's also other templates here, and you can download more templates from Camtasia. You can add templates uh, and so on. And then you can start a new project by simply highlighting one of these and clicking New from Template. But let's first take a look at what, what we have in here. So under Test template, if we click these three dots here, we have three options. From here, we can delete this template. We can rename the template. So if we just click here, we can give it a new name here. Okay, let's just hit enter. We'll just keep that name. And then you can also export the template. And if you click on that, what that's going to do is that it will allow you to export the template for the purposes of sending it to somebody else uh, or sending it to another computer of yours, say, um, if you want to save the template and then open it up on another machine. Okay, but let's cancel out of that. Uh, and now what I really wanted to show you is to create a new project. Now what you're going to do, now that you have a template saved, you're going to go up to Manage Templates, and then this window will open up, and then you're going to select the template you want, and then click New from Template. And as soon as you do that, a new project file opens with our template files already in place. So let me just zoom this so we can see what we've got. We've got our ending, right? And we've got the beginning. All the pieces we wanted to save are included in this new project file. And then what we want to do is make our new project, add in our new videos. Uh, if the video is shorter than, than the space we've allowed, you just click all these. Actually, the easiest way to do it would be to double click here to place the playhead there. Press Shift and then grab the playhead and move it over to uh, uh, to snap it in place with your new video. And that's it. Then simply go up to File and Save As. So you're saving a new project now, not just a template. And then you would save this as a new file. And that's it. So that's how templates can really increase the speed at which you can create projects if your projects that you're creating are going to be the same or similar to other ones that you've made. Do you want more tips like this? Let me know in the comments below. Or come join me on Tuesdays in my live stream. I live stream every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern here on YouTube, sharing my screen and doing how-to tutorials. I show you how I make my videos and I answer any questions you have live. So if you're looking to level up your videos, join me on Tuesdays. I'm Rob and I'll see you in the next video or in a live stream. I'll see you soon.